There he is. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel and tonight's film I'm going to be watching is Son of Frankenstein. So, Frankenstein 1931 is not only one of my favourite horror films of all time, it is one of my favourite films of all time. Absolutely fantastic film. Uh, Bride of Frankenstein was fun, it was a good movie, but I thought it was a little more silly in places and wasn't the, the tone wasn't as serious as the first one. Uh, so I think the I, I'm surprised actually when I heard a lot of people actually think Bride of Frankenstein was better than Frankenstein. Um, I said there's some good moments in Bride of Frankenstein, but I think Frankenstein is definitely the better of the two. So I'm hoping with Son of Frankenstein that the tone is more in line with the first one. Uh, that's the other thing. I don't know why I've never seen this one, given how much I love uh, the first one in particular. Um, but guys, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, give it a like. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you've been enjoying my videos on the channel and uh, leave a comment, uh, I'd really appreciate it. And if you're interested in supporting me further, I have a Patreon page um, with different various tiers on that, so I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check that out. And also just a quick shout out to one of my patrons, Ravi, for the continued support, uh, really appreciate it. Uh, but with that said, let's watch Son of Frankenstein. Victor, or Henry as he's known as in the film, Henry Frankenstein, he escaped with um, with Elizabeth, Doctor Petrolius, I think it was Frankenstein, and the creature and Bride of Frankenstein. They were all, well, we believe, perished in the in the destruction of the castle. And Bella the Ghost is in it. Huh. I didn't know that now. Frankenstein. Go master, was he in the first one, wasn't he? Yes. There was a time when our village was prosperous and happy. Look at it now. Forsaken, desolate, shunned by every traveler and because of these Frankensteins. You're living in a black shadow of that cursed place up on a hill. I really liked the guy, I can't remember his name, but the actor who played um, Frankenstein in the two films. He was brilliant. What strange looking country. <laughs> Not much like America, is it? It's exciting, isn't it? Out there in the darkness, a new life lies before us. The castle itself is supposed to be haunted. Because of... Yes. Yes, because of the things my father did there. His mother used to tell me when I was quite... So young. he's son of Frankenstein. It wasn't my father's fault that the being he created became a senseless, murderous monster. He, my father was made to... The creature him. wouldn't have killed anyone if it wasn't treated it was badly. Anonymous. Particularly by uh, Fritz. Herr Baron Frankenstein? Yes! I am Burgomaster Stillard of the village, Herr Baron. We come to meet you, not to greet you. <laughs> it's already getting met with real disdain almost. How many years have passed us since you, since the second one? Like... There is a car waiting, Herr Baron. Thank you. Look at the stairs, I love just that, that kind of um, ex German expressionist. <laughs> Comfort to find you here. Welcome, madam. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Amelia. I think Pete had better go right to bed. Are the bedrooms cheery? Uh, yes, madam. Quite cheery. I'm not sure how much conviction was in that. It's medieval. You. You really feel that you belong here already? Yes, yes, I think I do. Like father, like son? They are. None of the people of this province will serve here, no matter what I offer to pay them. <laughs> Oh, there he is. Henry Frankenstein. I think you rather like your father, sir. Yeah, I can see we resemblance. Some small portion. My son. Herein you will find my faiths, my beliefs, and my unfoldments. A complete diary of my experiments, charts. Perhaps you will regard my work with ridicule or even with distaste. Who, like me, burn with the irresistible desire to penetrate the unknown, carry on. Even though the path is cruel and torturous, carry on. What is Igor? Jesus. Mr. 
Inspector Crowe, District Police. I'm glad to see you, Inspector. I've come here, Herr Baron, to assure you of protection. Protection? From whom? Of a virulent and fatal poison. Poisoned already. By your name. Well, to the best of my knowledge, it has served my family faithfully for over 700 years. But as long as you continue to live in this place, you're in danger. So, maybe suggest him that he leaves. You're speaking in... You're referring to the monster. Perhaps. My dear inspector, he was destroyed years ago. Do you honestly know of one criminal act that this poor creature committed? Most vivid recollection of my life. That's why he's there. About the age of your own son, Herr Baron. The monster had escaped and grabbed me by the arm. An arm torn out by the roots. No, my lifelong ambition was to have been a soldier. The Charité Francaise. There have been six, all unsolved. In each case, the autopsy disclosed that death had been caused by a violent concussion. There were no marks on the bodies. But the hearts of all the victims were ruptured. Jesus. In fact, I uh... wonder if he's going to be more sadistic in this one. But I can assure you, I'm not engaged in any black magic. What did those villagers may think? Paperwork that your father had, you looked yeah, intrigued. God. <laughs> that is very disturbing. And the sun's not there. Well, he's there now, okay. Good morning, son. But I just hope we don't have any more nights like last night. Well, it's nights like that that make beautiful mornings like this. You never can tell what you'll see. Can you, Peter? You might see the monoceros or alligators. Or a monster. My father's laboratory. They blew the roof off. And the monster was destroyed. Sulfur. What the, that's what the hell that was? Oh, he's gonna push it in. Jeez! Hey, hey you come down here! Why did you try to kill me? I thought you came here to kill me. That's a fine story. Who are you? My name is Igor. Let me go, Frankenstein. Don't give me the Grog. Why? Grog, not one dead man. Igor is dead. They broke my neck. What? They said I was dead. Why did they hang you? Because I stole bodies. Like his father. They... My grandfather. Was his father buried here? I feel like um, the creature is down here somewhere as well. My father. Maker of monsters. And there he is. He's oh. alive! How long has he been here? Long time. It's my. Friend. Did you? Oh no. It happened one night when he was outside. He was hunting. People? That was. But he's supposed to have been destroyed. No. He cannot be destroyed. I'll get my instruments from the castle and we'll take him up there. No. You cannot take him away. Just up there. In your laboratory, where I have light and room. Like he's got a wife and a son. Do you really think it's a good idea to be delving in with all this? We've been moving large crates and boxes into the old laboratory. They even have old Igor helping them. Suspicions are correct. He really doesn't even want to be woken up. Because like it seemed like what, uh, what happened with the bride of Frankenstein, or the bride that rejected him, he just. I feel like he just lost the will to live at all. What's the matter with you? What are you doing? You cannot come in here. No. You want me to make him well? 
Very well, then. I need some help. This man is not just my servant. He's been with me for years. Something tells me he will tell and he'll be killed by Igor. Definite hyperpituitary. Minus 65. It's like he's fascinated by it all, but it's also this thing of like reliving. Look at the look on Igor's face. No human heart. He's also living, reliving in the footsteps of his father. So, um, uh, as you notice, a different shirt on. Uh, I, um,. I actually went to bed last night. Uh, I just, I did, I was getting really tired and I didn't want to be watching it while ha falling half asleep. So I decided to finish it tonight. Uh, hence why the change. So yeah, it's letting you know. But yeah, I'll get back into it now. Structure of the blood is quite different from that of the normal like, human being. Reading uh, or finding out all this would this not kind of so put you off wanting to deal with it? Another. What was in those boxes? All kind of things. Machines. What kind of machines? All kinds. I do nothing. <laughs> I hear Frankenstein, a good man, paid me money. You watch him, and if he starts to do anything like his father, and you don't tell us, I'll see that you hang again. <laughs> it took eight men before to say I was to be hanged. Well, the same eight will find you guilty again. The same eight aren't here, Weber. No. Well, I'm one of the eight, and I'll be one again with... You know I will. You could be signing your own debt warrants, you making these threats to him now. That's all here now, eh? Yes. The other six are all dead. Here's what my father thought. He could extract from lightning some super violet ray. He's gonna try lightning again, maybe? It's not one part of his physical being. It's like that of human beings. From his warped brain. Every fantastic story told of him by the people of Frankenstein, I now believe to be absolutely true. Should destroy him. Yeah, so he's gonna. Uyghurs are happy about that. But as a scientist, I should do everything in my power to bring him back to consciousness. <laughs> I'm afraid we'll never get him out of this coma. Come on, Benson. They'll come back someday and he'll be, he'll be out of I'm not going to work at Castle Frankenstein any longer. I've seen enough to make me suspicious. A giant coming here woke me up. A giant? <laughs> what an imagination. No one here woke me up. And when I got up, he had a hole in my arm. Holy shit. Did you chase him? Are there lots of giants around here? Only one that I ever heard of. Mm. So as the child is so innocent about it all, he had a certain experience with him. But... Well, what did he look like? Ooh, he's a red big man with a hairy coat on. Oh, I thought the reflection was the creature coming at him. Gonna climb up from the sulfur pit, maybe? Well, I'd know what he'd be doing under, to be honest. Oh. I always find the figures coming from the distance always to such a disturbing visual. Uh, Frankenstein. Here we go. He's realizing that it's actually not Henry. What he is. That's I he just he just he just encapsulates you when you see him on the screen, doesn't he? So you look at you and then look at me. It's like do you see the difference? How did he get out of here? You make him better. You like the dick. After you go, good man. He must never get out again. Never. No. He just do what I tell him. Always. Benson, man. Oh, he'll never tell. No. He will never tell. He killed him. What does he want to do? You know, touch him again. Oh. 
Oh, maybe he'll get, he'll recruit him to kill people that he wants killed. Like the two that are left that uh, that hung him. It's alive. Alive, you mean? Yes, alive, alive. But you said our experiment. <laughs> Play on that famous line. line. I too. How did you escape himself? He go came in. It's amazing the control he exercises over that thing. Complete master of this living, breathing, intelligent creature my father dreamed of creating. Mm, so hooked up by all that. The glory, kind of the pride of his father. Yeah, it's gonna get him to kill him. So animalistic, isn't it? Like, just so quick the way he does it. Oh, Jesus. Igor is kind of almost like the real monster here. It's a great pleasure to have you. You're our first guest. I never thought that I should have the privilege of being entertained at Castle Frank. You here? You see, you're our first guest. Oh, you just said that, didn't you, dear? Oh, you are. Fritz. He's just all over the place. Where's Benson? Why isn't he serving dinner? We don't know, madam. Oh shit. Have you seen him, Wolf? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, yes, dear. I. Uh, God, he's lying. I, you see, Benson? Yes. When? About two hours ago. Where? Here. Wants to walk. Benson, run, run, run. <laughs> the sulfur pit. Run too. He isn't at the. Where does the ladder into the sulfur pit lead to? I was curious about that as well. Cave. It's warm. We stayed there in winter. Oh. So protective, like he just so. How did it happen? He must have been asleep and fallen off his wagon. The wheels passed over his legs, breaking both of them. You don't think that? Perhaps. We won't know until you perform an autopsy. Examine the heart. Report to me at once. Where it all begins. Again. He's the one really just dictating it all this time, though. About to kill someone else. As soon as he's, he seems he plays that when he has the creature kill someone. Oh, he'll see. Oh, that's a great shot. No, no. Yeah. That's the two of them taken out. No, that were left. No, no. I'm going to the railroad station. My uh, uh, wife and child are going away for a slight uh, holiday. The son. The mob are after him now. Gate. They have a strange notion that you had something to do with it. They're mad. I'll go down there and tell them so. No, you won't go back. Yeah. Why? Killed. We'll talk that we've returned to the Middle Ages. The villagers have laid siege to the castle and are crying out for blood, blood. I don't mind telling you, Inspector, that as a guest in my own house, you'll find me extremely disagreeable. Has the giant paid you any more visits? Yeah. Ooh. Oh. He's a great big fellow, I imagine. To the windows, to the fireplace. Or through the wall. To the wall? The wall? Where? I shall. He gave me a watch. A watch? Yes. Would you like to see it? Along with the Benson. It's a very nice watch. A very nice. Yeah, Thomas Benson. Nice. Where you're carrying on, if I were a policeman, I'd be suspicious myself. You would? Yes, I would. Our own dear Benson disappears for no reason. They probably think that you, like your father, have created another monster. Or... No, that came Frankenstein. You liar. He was in the village. You made him kill Herr Neumuller. Yeah. Why not? It all belong to you. You go away. Not me! When did it occur? This afternoon? No, sometime last night. It was only discovered late this morning. Herr Lang, the st I think I know who your monster may be. Good. Who? 
Old Igor. Little Igor again. Yet he has a perfect alibi. In a manner of speaking, it is Igor. He was constantly under observation when every murder was committed. Was that the entire jury that hanged him is dead. But he was never seen at the scene of the crime. Yeah, watch out. Jesus. Eager gone. The creature will come off now in a minute. What's that? The Benson? Gonna enrage him further because he was his friend. How did you get rid of him? Shot him. I killed him. He tried to murder me with his hammer, so I shot him. The you. For it was he who undoubtedly killed Benson. Hmm. Benson, he's dead. But Igor didn't do it. Nor did you. Nor was it done by any ghost. As a monster of what you know it. I think you're a worse fiend than your father. Where is this monster? Where is he? I'll stay by your side until you can. What did he say a few words in this film? He did in the second one. Although I know Boris Karloff didn't like the idea that he speak. So he'd get rid of anything he associates with his creation almost. Child, maybe. Oh god. I don't think it'll be that. Oh god. Oh, she fainted. Okay, at least she didn't talk. Oh shit! It's a very dark ending. Jeez. That was done. Don't lean over looking out when you have the child in your hand. to Frankenstein. Do with them what you will, and may happiness... Yeah, I think it's the best decision he's ever made to get out of there. But finally, finally, Goodbye, gentlemen. he an end to it all. And so that was Son of Frankenstein. Um, uh, I thought this one was closer in tone to the first one, and I really appreciate it for that. Uh, maybe it didn't have as uh, some of the more iconic moments of Brighter Frankenstein, but I think on the whole, I enjoyed this film better. Again, as I said, because I think it had a more serious tone like the first one. Uh, what is interesting is that in this one, it is harder to feel sorry for the creature in this one. I think this one, he is more monstrous. Uh, I get it that Igor is kind of almost in control of him, but um, for the most part, he's less comes across less innocent so I think he feels more monstrous in this one more of a kind of kind of a classical horror killer you know um, Wolf was a Wolf Frankenstein I the guy who played him I thought he did a very good performance um, he even kind of had a similar vibe to uh, uh, I can't think of his name but the actor who played Frankenstein in the original and Brighter Frankenstein great actor uh, the name just won't come to me at the moment um, there was uh, one or two sweet moments and kind of just poignant moments with the creatures, although especially when he's looking in the reflection in the mirror when he comes up. Um, 
you know, just again that kind of lamenting, that regret of what he is, and that was out of his control. That was one of the few moments in this one where a little bit of glimmer of feeling sorry for him. But as I said, for the most part, he is more monstrous in this one, so it is harder to have that sympathy. Uh, but let me know in the comments, guys, your thoughts on Son of Frankenstein and where would you rank it among the three with Frankenstein and Brighter Frankenstein. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Uh, but until next time, guys, it's long before.